Welcome to our lecture online and the next topic for modern physics is what we call the momentum of a photon. Yes, photons do have momentum even though they don't have mass. If we remember from a previous chapter where we dealt with the relativistic effect of uh, moving really fast, we came up with an equation that described the total energy of a particle squared is equal to the rest mass energy of a particle squared plus the momentum times the speed of light quantity squared. So that equation did give us the momentum of any kind of particle at moving at any velocity. So how does that deal, how does that work for a photon? Well, a photon has no mass, right? When we deal with a photon, we can say that mass is equal to zero. And of course, the traditional sense of momentum, we know that momentum is equal to the mass times velocity. And so we thought that if a particle does not have mass, it does not have momentum. But that is actually not the case. Because with this equation right here, if we assume that the rest mass of the particle is zero, then this term disappears and we end up with the energy squared is equal to the momentum times the speed of light quantity squared. And if we solve this equation for momentum, let's see what we get. First of all, we take the square root of both sides, so we have E is equal to P times C, and therefore the momentum is equal to the energy of the particle divided by the speed of light. Now, of course, for a photon, the energy of a particle, that is equal to H, <coughs> H Planck's constant times the frequency divided by C. And, of course, remember that for a photon, the speed of light is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So the frequency can be expressed as C over lambda. So if we do that here, then this is equal to H C over lambda. Don't forget the C from down here. Then you can see right away that the C's cancel out. And finally... For a photon, a particle with no mass, we now can see that the momentum is equal to Planck's constant divided by the wavelength. Wow, that's quite in, that's a very interesting. A particle that has no mass actually has momentum, which means that, for example, if there's an electron here and a, and a photon is incident on the electron, bumps in the electron, actually make the electron move. So the final result is that the electron will, will be pushed off to the side by the momentum of this photon. Now, let's say that we have a photon that has a wavelength equal to 505 nanometers. So that would be kind of green light, uh, yellowish green light, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, let's plug that in here and see what we get. So the momentum of a single photon would be equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds divided by the wavelength, which is 505 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. And uh, that would give us uh, momentum. Let's calculate it. So that's equal to 6.626 e to the 34 minus divided by 505 e 9 minus equals. And that would be momentum of 1.31 times 10 to the minus 27. And what would be the units here? Well, the units for momentum is mass times velocity. So that would be kilograms meters per second. Say, wow, how do we get kilogram meters per second for a particle that does not even have mass? Well, let's go back over here and look at these units right here. So we have joules times seconds divided by meters. Okay, well, a joule is a newton meter. So that can be replaced by a newton meter times seconds over meters. And of course, then the meters cancel out. And then you say, well, a newton is the force that um, will give the mass of one kilogram, the accelerator of one meter per second square. So this is equal to kilogram meters per second squared times seconds and of course then you see this seconds cancel out one of those and yes indeed you'll end up with kilograms meters per seconds so not only does that show that these units match it also shows that this equation is actually valid that these h over lambda is equal that gives you the units for momentum and that's how you find the momentum of a photon, a particle that has no mass.